front row. Elio Castro Nevis, Ryan Frisco, Dario Franchini. There's an area at the exit of the four where throughout the day they'll be able to climb on it once they get to that point. But on the start, I think Brian Barnhart wants to see rows of three lined up at the exit of four. They're in rows of three, and now Castro Nevis has the lead. He's going to fly by you, Mike. So once again, Elio Castro Nevis with a good start, and the green flag will fall. The 93rd 500 is underway, Jerry Baker. And he jumps into the middle of the track, and right away, the outside front row. Dario Franchini runs second. There goes the tail in turn two. Dario Franchini closing in on Castro Nevis as they move through number two. Elio Castro Nevis has led 162 laps here, and we've got an incident in turn number two. An incident in turn number two. It looks like one of the KB racing machines. It's Mario Marias. Mario Marias makes contact. It looks like he also made contact with the 26 Venom machine of Marco Andretti. So Andretti will once again be denied here, or so it would seem. It's going to take a real Cinderella story if, in fact, Marco is going to be uh, one of the contenders here today. Here's the green flag. It's out, and Dario Franchini will move to the inside of Elio Castro Nevis. They're side by side and wide. He'll make the pass by Franchini. Did a terrific job of jumping from third to second, and now he is up and running in turn number two. It's Dario Franchini comfortably now. Sparks underneath them, the Castro Nevis, Ryan Briscoe, the rest of the field works its way through the south short shoot. Now into the view of Mark James. Dario Franchini sets sail down that five eighths of a mile back straightaway, has about a four car length advantage. He'll sweep toward the outside retaining wall. Then it's Team Pesky, then it's Scott Dixon, then it's Tony Ganon and Graham Ray Holmes. We have the Izod machine, and that's uh, Ryan Hunter Ray that spun to the inside out of turn four. He was exiting, he got low, he hit the inside retaining wall, and has slid all the way down down pit row. That's Ryan Hunter Ray in the Vision Racing IZOD machine. So it happens on lap 21. We were working 21. The leaders now come past the red car of Ryan Hunter Ray, who has had a miserable month of May for sure. Back to green flag racing. 28 laps will be completed at the line. Dario Franchitti, the 2007 500 winner, Jerry Baker, he's going to be the leader at the line. Franchitti's stepping it up, but he's got big time company, Mike, in that number six machine. He's got him round by about 10 car lengths. Scott Dixon will run third, and then Elio Castroneves are already in the second quarter. We've got a problem, a car in the wall. So we've got a car in the wall here just in front of us, and that could be Graham Ray. Is that Graham Ray Hall? It is. Graham Ray Hall with 56 laps being shown complete. Graham, you'll remember last year, wound up 33rd here after completing uh, just a handful of laps. And Chris Denary, he's only going to complete a handful again here today as Graham Ray Hall, who bristled at the suggestion that he was a dark horse here, he finds himself finished with 56 laps being shown complete. As uh, we get set to watch the restart after our third caution of the afternoon. A great stop for Ryan Briscoe. He's out in front, but here comes Dixon. Scott Dixon, Jerry Baker go side by side and one. And he'll make the pass by King from the inside. Ryan Briscoe falls back, and now he's being challenged, and he'll be passed from the number two spot. And here comes Kanan. Yeah, you got to wonder if there's a problem with Ryan Briscoe. Now Elio Castro Nemes takes a look at the inside. He gets by him. So too does Rafael Matos. They head to three. Well, Briscoe got in the throttle play. Plenty early in turn number three, but boy, it didn't serve him very well. There goes Scott Dixon, now Dario, then Kanat, then Rafa Matos, then Danica, then Elio Castro Neves. When they left turn four for the restart back in the field, Mike, they were four wide down the front stretch. Here comes Dixon. Boy, Scott Dixon with a great restart. Lots of racing going on behind him, but the 10 car of Dario Franchitti runs second. Tony Kanat is third. What has happened, though, to Ryan Briscoe as he has dropped all the way back to sixth place? now to make it ninth for Briscoe. I, I think it is Davey Hamilton, car number 44. He was very slow in the middle of turn number four, and he slowed up the field, and it was pushing to the right. He had no chance. He hit the outside wall at the exit of turn number four and then slid along the wall. Davey Hamilton's day has come to an end. So Davey Hamilton in the number 44, Dreyer and Reinbold, Hewlett Packard machine, had told us, JP, a little bit earlier about some handling problems. Of course, they also had the gearing problems, but turn four has claimed another car here today. 
the green flag to start lap 89. Going to be interesting to keep our eye on Ryan Briscoe, who restarts 23rd. But right now, the target Chip Ganassi Racing teammates go side by side in one. And the pass is made. Scott Dixon will take the lead away from Dario Franchini. Tony Kanaan runs third. Tony Kanaan with his sights right there. Then behind TK, it's Elio Castroneves. But it's target one, two with Dixon and Franchini. I guess the last thing you want is to be leading on the restart with Scott Dixon behind you. Single car incident, Mark James involving Tony Kanaan, a big hit for TK in turn number three. He hit just about where the Vista starts uh, in the north end at the beginning of turn number three. And the car kind of careened back toward the middle of the racetrack and then all of a sudden slapped the wall hard again, just about at the start of the apex at turn number three. And Mike, he laid down a debris field all the way up against the outside retaining wall and didn't come to a stop until the exit of the short chute at the entrance to turn number four. Happy to report that once the 7-Eleven machine came to a stop, of course, the Delphi safety team there, as they always are, Tony Kanaan got out of the car under his own power, set on what was left of the side pod for just a couple of minutes, and walked under his own power to the safety vehicle for the mandatory check of the infield care center. And we go back to green flag racing. 109 laps will be complete. It's target Chip Ganassi racing 1-2. Dixon, Frankini in one, Jerry Baker. And uh, Will Power all of a sudden is a major player likewise. Now a pass. Castro Nevis getting around, getting in position. It's still Dixon and Frankini in second corner. Yeah, only fitting they've got that bullseye on their car because target Chip Ganassi racing 1-2. Elio Castro Nevis now sets his sights on Will Power. Not done passing race cars, I don't think, Elio Castro Nevis. Trying to set Will Power up to the bottom side of three. Power shuts the door. Meanwhile, the leader's already in four. Cloud cover is breaking. Bright sunshine now in turn four. The bright red cars target Chip Ganassi. Dixon, Franchitti, one, two. Everybody on pit road. Yellow flag stops, 134 complete. And Scott Dixon came in with the lead. He's out with the lead. But Elio Castroneves picks up some ground. He's in the second. Real power out third. A very slow stop for Dario Franchitti. He comes out eighth or ninth. Ryan Briscoe moved up from 16th in the top 10. He did not take tires. Dan Weldon with a smooth stop. Ed Carpenter, another smooth stop. And Dan Patrick with no changes. They're out and gone. Townsend Bell continues his impressive march, 24th to 6th now with a very smooth stop, 10 seconds, fuel tires, no changes. Unfortunately for Vitor Mira, a fire on board the number 14 ABC supply machine. There is water and fire extinguisher all over pit lane as the 14 car has been rolled away. The fire has been extinguished. So Vitor Mira, big fire, a big burst of flame. Very dangerous situation, and they reacted very quickly. So Vitor Mira, let's uh, make sure it looks like a crewman. Kevin Lee was also possibly injured in that incident. There was another issue on pit lane, not nearly that that severe, but Dario Franchitti came in second, and he lost quite a few positions. The fuel hose got stuck. The fuel hose got stuck in Franchitti's car. They did get the fuel in. K.O., what's happening with Mira's car? Mira is just pulling back onto the chairs of the crowd. Apparently, they had had some uh, fire. I did not see it, but he's back on the track, wow. and the crowd's cheering. How about that? That car was on fire 20 seconds ago, J.P. <laughs> Getting ready to go back to green flag racing here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Kristen Airy, the field accelerates in front of you in four. Right here as we're getting ready, wheels on the white line and leading the way, Scott Dixon, followed by Elio Castro Nevis. 140 are complete, make it 141 at the line. A couple of former winners battling it out, Jerry Baker. Here comes Elio to the inside. Oh, he's not inside anymore, Mike. He is in front. Even under yellow, he would not let Dixon get away, and he's got the lead into turn two. Big crash in one, it's Vitor Mira. The car got up on its side and Rafa Matos, Jerry Baker also involved. I don't think, Mike, I've ever seen a car do that. I mean, it was unbelievable. Mira was up on the wall with the, dry, with the left side wheels flat on the ground and the car running perpendicular to the wall. Just finished now, talking about Rafa and JP. We've got the side-by-side -side battle right now as Rafa, oh. My good, oh, and Vitor Mira, they touched tires. Vitor Mira's oh. left, right rear, 
yeah. touches the, the left front of Rafa, Rafa Matos, and it points him, JP, right into the outside yeah, safety they barrier. Both, they both turned right my when that goodness. happens, as you can imagine. Oh, and that my. was kind of scary, but uh, it wasn't really uh, life threatening, I'm sure. They're shaking oh. up, both drivers are, but his right rear catches them, and they both go to the outside and early into the wall in the first turn. And we heard, could hear the Look impact on the ninth floor up here when they hit the wall. Look Big hit ball. He's skating on the right side of his car. He's looking backwards, going down the back straightaway on the right sidewalls. The green flag will be out. 183 will be complete at the line. Elio Castroneves is the leader. Side by side, Patrick and Weldon racing into one, Jerry Baker. And uh, Castroneves has the lead. Weldon will hang on to second spot. Patrick has to fall back to third, and Castro is pulling away right now. Castroneves pulling away. Dan Weldon got a scare there from Danica Patrick. Townsend Bell in fourth, but Elio running away with it right now. Elio Castroneves has already stretched it out to about a 10 car length advantage and a car is shoved in the grass at the midway point of the back straightaway. Lots of slice and dice and deep in the field. That was the 27th machine of Hideki Moto and he saved it. Well through four, Castro Nevis with a large lead. 20 car links, Mike King. So Hideki Muto mowing the grass on the back straight but keeps it going in the right position. Meantime, we watch a great battle. Ed Carpenter trying to go to the extreme inside of the 10 car frame. TD and one. On to the front straight for the next to last time. He will see the white flag, Jerry Baker. One to go for Elio. Oh, the second year in a row. You start first and you finish first. It is just unbelievable. Elio Castro Neves. Hands on the wheel. Don't even think about making a mistake now for Elio Castro Neves. A mile away from his third win in Indianapolis. What a better way to celebrate the Indianapolis Motor Speedway's 100th birthday than to adding a member to the three times. Win Club helped take him home, Kristen Airy. Spider-Man has not climbed the fence since 2002. He's outside turn four. Here he comes, Mike King. Open the door to the three-time Winners Club. There's a brand new member, and his name is Elio Castro Neves. The fist race in the air, the twin checkered flags. Elio wins it. Weldon is second. Danica Patrick is third. Townsend Bell is fourth. And